S7 Airlines has placed an order for over 102 214 aircraft with the Kazan Aviation Plant, a branch of the Tupolev Design Bureau named after S.P. Gorbanov, according to Russia's Deputy Prime Minister Vitaly Savelyev. Additionally, he observed that Aeroflot has acquired approximately 200 MC-21 aircraft. Nevertheless, the intricate narrative of industrial revival and technological transition is concealed beneath this huge order. As part of Russia's overall initiative to reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers and localize aircraft manufacturing, the Tu-214, which was initially developed in the late 1980s and has been in production since 1996, is currently being revitalized. The Modernization and Import Substitution Program, the upgrades underway at the Kazan plant, the history of the Tu-214, the details of S-7's order, and the challenges that the Russian aviation industry faces in bringing this ambitious project to life are all examined in this article. Tupolev developed the Tu-214, a medium-range narrow-body passenger aircraft, as a member of the Tu-204 and 214 family. The aircraft is capable of transporting approximately 210 passengers over a distance of 6,500 kilometers. The Kazan Aviation Production Association in Tatarstan is the site of production. Although the aircraft was introduced to production in 1996, it was produced in limited quantities, primarily for government or specialized operations, rather than for large-scale commercial service. Its systems were largely dependent on imported avionics and materials, and its production tempo remained low for many years. Some private airline companies, notably Transaero, ordered the aircraft, but the slow delivery, lack of spare parts, and poor service rendered them bankrupt. The Tu-214 has regained strategic significance in the current era as global sanctions have restricted access to Western aircraft. It has become a critical component of Russia's quest to re-establish its independent civil aviation sector. According to previous reports, S7 Airlines has executed a memorandum of intent for the acquisition of over 100 upgraded Tu-214 aircraft. Now the minister says it is a firm order. As part of the state-backed strategy for domestic fleet renewal and import substitution, this order is one of the largest commitments to this Russian-built passenger aircraft in decades. For S7, a private airline that had previously operated mainly Airbus and Boeing aircraft, this represents a significant transition to Russian technology. A strategic opportunity to expand the fleet and correlate with national priorities, as well as a risk, is present. The Tu-214 modernization process is still in progress, and large-scale production remains a challenge. The modernization program is designed to improve the avionics, reduce the aircraft's weight, reconfigure the cockpit for a two-pilot crew, and replace foreign components with Russian-made equivalents. This will also aid production because the old materials are either out of production or produced inefficiently. The Tu-214LL, a specially equipped flying laboratory for testing domestically produced systems and avionics, is currently in operation. The modernization of the Tu-214 requires the replacement of over 240 imported components with Russian alternatives. The systems under replacement include inertial navigation units, flight control computers, weather radars, hydraulic and fuel compressors, sensors, and generators. The first flight of the Tu-214 prototype, which was fully outfitted with Russian systems, took place by the end of 2024. This was a major step forward in the localization program. The new Tu-214 version undergoes a significant transformation from a three-person cockpit, pilot, co-pilot, and flight engineer to a two-person configuration as a result of the implementation of more sophisticated automated systems. This modification, in conjunction with composite materials and reduced avionics, is anticipated to decrease the aircraft's overall weight by approximately 200 kilograms. However, the Russian government prefers a three-crew cockpit. So it is not yet final if the plane will have two or three cockpit crews. 
In November 2024, the two 214 LL testbed aircraft started flights with the new Russian avionics. It had conducted nearly 20 test flights by early 2025, ensuring the reliability of the system, flight performance, and avionics integration. One of the recent flights was carried out together with the MC-21 aircraft, which is also in testing. Modern CNC machinery, robotic welding stations, and automated assembly tools are being installed at the Kazan facility. The installation of new production lines for the assembly of wings and the joining of fuselage panels is underway. A new final assembly facility is currently being built with the capacity to deliver a maximum of 10 aircraft annually. Fuselage panels, wings, and subassemblies will be the focus of additional workshops. The government's Civil Aviation Roadmap anticipates that the production of 214 aircraft will increase from 1 in 2024 to 4 in 2025, 7 in 2026, 17 in 2027, and 28 per year by 2028. In reality, advancement has been considerably sluggish. The Kazan facility has only delivered one aircraft for the year, as of late 2025, which is consistent with a pattern of missed targets that has persisted since 2022. The reasons for the delays include a lack of skilled labor, outmoded production capacity, and challenges in coordinating the supply chain. There are technical and industrial challenges. The Kazan facility experiences difficulty in attracting and retaining qualified engineers and technicians. The workforce lacks recent expertise with mass production aircraft manufacturing, following decades of limited civilian output. Replacing Western-made systems with Russian ones requires redesigning parts of the aircraft, testing new suppliers, and getting everything certified again. Production scalability is restricted by the fact that a significant portion of the new industrial infrastructure is still under construction, despite significant investments. The plant has been left with aging equipment and inefficiencies due to decades of underutilization, which has resulted in a precipitous learning curve as production increases. The Kazan Modernization Program includes the installation of sophisticated machining centers the construction of new workshops, and the implementation of digital production control systems. By the end of 2024, only nine of the 24 initially planned industrial initiatives had been executed. By the conclusion of 2026, Tupolev anticipates that all new facilities will be fully operational. The TU-214 transaction for S7 is a combination of risk and opportunity. The airline has the opportunity to broaden its fleet and align with national priorities. However, it must adjust to a model that is still in the process of modernization and certification. This aircraft type will necessitate the development of operational reliability, maintenance networks, and personnel training programs from the ground up. This will necessitate major expenditures and close collaboration with the Kazan facility and Tupelo. The order is a testament to the trust that the government has in domestic aerospace production and is a component of a national initiative to re-establish the industry following decades of reliance on Western manufacturers. Although the 2214 is derived from an older design, it functions as a bridge model that bridges the divide until more advanced aircraft, such as the MC-21, can be manufactured in sufficient quantities. The TU-214 has the potential to serve as a critical tool for Russia's airlines in the latter half of the decade if the modernization process is successful. However, the entire import substitution program may encounter credibility challenges if delays and production bottlenecks continue. TU-214 deliveries are anticipated to commence in full scale around 2027, with production progressively increasing to 28 aircraft per year by 2028, as indicated by the official roadmap. December 27, 2024, marked the commencement of a new production cycle with the inaugural flight of a newly built, entirely localized 2-214. The project faces critical risks. 
The TU-214's Russianized version is currently undergoing certification. Any integration or reliability issues could potentially delay deliveries. The Kazan plant's labor shortage and gradual ramp-up continue to present major hurdles. Fuel efficiency may continue to be inferior to that in modern Western aircraft, and costs may rise as a result of localized manufacturing. However, the Russian carrier Red Wings flies these aircraft and has not complained about the economy. On the contrary, in the past it was noted by industry experts that this model has the highest profits per passenger. Also, with the state subsidy, this aircraft may be better priced than the MC-21. The current geopolitical context may result in a more prolonged certification process than originally anticipated. S-7's operation of an aircraft type with limited modern service experience may lead to logistical and maintenance challenges. S-7 could commence receiving its 2214s by the latter half of the decade if the modernization program proceeds as anticipated, thereby contributing to a significant renewal of the domestic fleet. The Kazan facility would become a central hub for Russian civil aviation manufacturing in this scenario, in addition to the MC-21 production in Irkutsk. In summary, S7 Airlines' decision to order over 100 214 aircraft marks a historic occasion for Russian civil aviation. It represents the nation's endeavor to reindustrialize a critical sector and its national strategy for technological independence. The upgrades to the 2214, which feature fully local electronics, better cockpit systems, and modern manufacturing methods, represent a larger effort to help Russia build and run competitive commercial airplanes again. Simultaneously, the obstacles are substantial, including certification hurdles, production delays, and the challenge of expanding a facility that has been largely inactive for decades. The years ahead will test the Russian aviation industry's ability to fulfill its ambitious objectives. The modernized 2214 has the potential to become a critical component of Russia's mid-range aviation fleet in the 2030s if it demonstrates its reliability and efficiency. However, the endeavor may become an extended burden on both manufacturers and airlines if setbacks persist. In any case, the S-7 order has already initiated a significant industrial transformation that will shape the future of Russian civil aviation for years to come. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us